Lows nearly 20 degrees above average. It's certainly possible tonight and into tomorrow morning. I'm meteorologist Justin Ballard from the UF Weather Center. You see them low 60s to mid 60s here during the early part of the morning hours with some patchy fog possible. And it's all thanks to this little number right here, or this not so little number as it were, 64 that you point earlier today in Gainesville and Ocala, near 70 in places like Live Oak and Tallahassee. And the dew point is a measure of how much moisture is in the air, but it's also a measure of how low temperatures will try to get during the overnight. So that's why we've got forecast lows of 63 in Gainesville, 61 in Ocala, 64 in High Springs, especially where those dew point numbers match the temperature numbers. We may see some dense fog develop by early tomorrow morning. But yet another warm afternoon is ahead Thursday, Friday into Saturday. Highs in the low 80s. You see the average here, 68. We'll be well above that. In fact, approaching record territory by the time we head into the afternoon hours those days. Strong storms, though, could usher in big changes by Sunday. Let's take you through the next couple of days here, uh, Saturday into Sunday. Storms move into the panhandle early Sunday morning. I've got you here at 3 a.m. So our friends up there will likely be dealing with a rowdy start to their Sunday. By Sunday afternoon, that weakening trend will arrive into Gainesville. I still think we'll have some heavier bouts of rain and even possibly some wind before much cooler air moves in by early Monday morning. How cold are we talking? Well, let's show you those numbers here. Strong storms possible with that cold front on Sunday, followed by a dry start to the week. But boy, it is going to be much, much colder. Highs only in the upper 50s.